Morning. So from time to time we talk about commodities, but these days they're really the highlight. Uh, with rising prices in copper, in iron, in crude, uh, lumber even, the idea that inflation is coming invaded the minds of investors. And so bonds were sold, pushing the 10-year yield back above 1.6%. And as we've seen it happen before, tech stocks suffered the most. So the Nasdaq fell almost 2.5% and the S&P lost over 1%. In the general risk of sentiment, we saw Bitcoin pull back about 4.2% on the session, with intraday lows down 8.3%. We're still at decent level, even consolidation level, one might say, at 56,000. Uh, and the Bitcoin dominance index remains at 45.5. Indeed, Ethereum, which did fall intraday, is closing still in the green and so outperforming, currently just a tad under 4,000. Along with Ethereum, we see Comp and also Solana uh, holding up well, and then others holding less well. I'm thinking Chainlink, Polkadot, and Cardano, down 10, 8, and 5%. On to more long-term fundamental data, the numbers still point to a very supported and very bullish setup. On one hand, you have still increasing supply of stablecoin, which obviously suggests fresh fiat capital coming into the crypto space to be used on exchange and naturally to buy crypto. And then on the other hand, we see deeply negative exchange net flow, and that means more coins going away from exchanges and fewer coins going in, which suggests people are huddling and fewer people are ready to sell. And we're seeing that in OTC Desk as well, uh, where the supply is much lower now than it was pre-bull run. And that's a good thing, right? It means less selling pressure. It's also interesting to see less leverage on derivatives exchanges compared to recent times when Bitcoin was at these levels. Uh, and that means real money is in and then leverage can maybe come in later when, if and when we go for another leg up. Uh, the picture looks very similar for Ethereum and it just says one thing, there's no reason to get out of here. Uh, by the way, so that I don't leave you without any daily news, uh, did you hear about UBS now exploring offering crypto investments to qualified investors? Uh, that can definitely be dismissed as just another bank talking crypto, and it is just that, uh, but it is a massive bank uh, getting or seeing more interest and value in the crypto space uh, to start making that shift, and ultimately that means more capital flowing in the space. That's it for me today. I wish you a great day and a great trading day. If you haven't done so yet, please like, please subscribe. Uh, it helps with the visibility, but also means you'll be updated when new videos come out.